Hello guys and gals, you are watching Code for Geek and this is your friend Adesh. In this video, I wanted to talk about Linux Mint, which is a very popular Linux distribution and is often recommended to users who have used a Windows 10 or 11 system for their whole life. People from the Linux community used to recommend Ubuntu to other users before Mint, but for various reasons, I have stopped doing that and maybe I will discuss it some other time on the channel. So Linux Mint has three major additions, Cinnamon, Mate and XFCE, but the flagship edition of Mint is Cinnamon, which almost everyone uses. It is really lightweight and powerful at the same time, offering a lot of customization as well as stability. Now, speaking of customization, the interface of this operating system looks really close to Windows. There's a super menu or start menu. There is a panel at the bottom, which Windows users know as the taskbar, and there are applications pinned here. And you can control basic things from here as well, such as the Bluetooth, Wi Fi, and various other things like printers, etc. Now, people who are slightly inclined towards tinkering with technical knowledge do know about how things work. But let's say if you are installing Mint on your dad's or your grandma's PC so that they don't get infected with viruses which tend to happen on Windows. Since we don't want to scare away the people who are not technically inclined, what is essential is that you change the interface of the Linux Mint to something that they're more familiar with, that is Windows. And of course, you can customize it for yourself as well and apply any theme. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to apply a Windows 10 theme on top of Linux Mint. I will also apply a macOS theme to Linux Mint in the later half of this video. So you can check that out out if you're interested in that theme. So let's get started. So here I have a clean install of Linux Mint which is in a virtual machine. Let me quickly make it full screen and as you can see things are very basic. First of all search for themes from your start menu or super menu and launch it. It will launch a theme setting menu and as you can see you can apply dark mode or light mode as per your preference but what we have to do is go to the advanced settings and then you can change cursor themes, application themes and so on. Go to add or remove themes and then let the package repository refresh if it is refreshing on your end and then search for Windows 10. Windows 10 light theme and Windows 10 dark theme appears on my list and you can scroll down and select more of them if you want and I'm gonna download both the light theme and dark theme on my PC but uh, you can download whichever one you want then come back to the theme section and windows 10 light and dark themes are here go to the application section then also select windows 10 or windows 10 dark theme from there i'm gonna select windows 10 dark theme and then we'll have to also download the windows 10 folder icons so as you can see from my file manager the folder icons looks orange -ish. so launch a web browser and i will link down this folder icons in the description below so go to the file section and then click on the download button. Let the timer run out for 5 seconds and then simply download the zip file of this folder icons to your PC. Once the zip file is downloaded, launch your downloads folder and then right click on it and then extract it. I had already downloaded that zip file before but I forgot. But you can simply extract the downloaded zip file on your end. Once the extracted folder appears, you can see the different icons are here. Just copy this or cut this folder and go to your home folder enable viewing hidden files you can do that from the view menu from the top bar or you can just press ctrl h on your keyboard now look for dot icons folder in the home directory of your pc and if there is none you can simply create dot icons in my case dot icons is already here so i'm gonna launch it and then i will just simply paste the icon pack to this folder now come to the theme settings again and as you can see from the icons section I can choose Windows 10 folder icons from here, which appears as Windows 10 master. And as you can see from the start menu as well, uh, various icons have been changed for us. And similarly, it can be viewed in the file manager as well. Now let's change the cursor pack. So again, come to the Firefox and I will link down this cursor theme in the description below as well. So you can download it on your PC. This is Windows 10 KDE icon pack, but it works for us as well. So just download it and once the cursor is downloaded, extract it. So as you can see, it is extracted now. Just cut this folder again and once again, view hidden files and then paste this onto your dot icons folder. And once it refreshes, you can apply the cursor pack, which is Windows 10 right here. And I can apply the light theme as well from here. Just select the application and desktop theme as Windows 10 Lite. And this will change the desktop theme to something which looks familiar to you.
वन मोर थिंग वी गोन अप्लाई इज द स्टार्ट मेन्यू एंड एज यू कैन सी इट इज करंटली द लीनक्स मिंट लोगो जस्ट राइट क्लिक ऑन इट एंड गो टू कन फिगर एंड देन फ्रॉम द आईकन सेक्शन सर्च फॉर विंडोज एंड देन सिलेक्ट द आईकन एंड यस इट इज अप्लाइड लेट मी एक्चुअली चेंज द थीम बैक टू डार्क मोड एज इट इज लुकिंग रियली ब्राइट फॉर मी If you want you can also change the desktop background and for that you just have to right click on your desktop and then you can click change desktop background there are really good wallpapers here and you can apply any one you prefer you can also search on the internet for windows 10's default desktop background but i would say linux mint has pretty nice collection of desktop wallpapers so it looks pretty nice also if you prefer something like windows 11 look then you can just enable panel edit mode then drag the pinned icons to center and also drag the start menu to the center as well so it looks something like windows 11 if you are someone who prefer the centered icons on windows 11 and then disable the panel edit mode so it looks like windows 11 now If you have made it this far in the video then make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want more Linux related videos on your feed For macOS look launch the web browser again and I'm going to link down this white search GTK theme in the description as well so you can download this theme and I'm going to download this white search GTK dark and light theme which will look good on our PC As you can see in the description of this theme that several other themes such as icon theme and cursor theme are also linked directly here so it is going to be really easy for you to find them just download the icon as well as cursor pack to your pc and then once again you will have to paste this in the icons as well as themes folder so just go to your downloads folder and i'm going to select all the white search themes and then i'm going to extract here Once the extraction is finished, just move the light and dark themes to the .dot themes folder in your home directory, and then move the icons and cursor pack to the .dot icons folder. Close this out, and once again, from the start menu, search for the theme settings, and then from here, look for Mac Mojave cursors. From the application section, look for the application theme which should be white sir dark or white sir light. So I'm gonna first apply the light theme, and so my folder icons does not appear here. So let's see what's wrong with that. So I'm gonna go to my dot icons folder. Oh, so that's the issue. The topmost directory did not contain our theme. It has several sub directories which contains our light and dark themes. So just cut those out and paste it into the dot themes folder instead. And now let's look for the folder icon. So first for the folder icons, I can see that white sir light and dark themes are applied for the folders and then also I can apply the themes which is white sir light. And uh, yeah, it looks a lot like macOS now, but more work has yet to be done, so just stick around. Similarly, you can also apply the white sir dark theme and select the folder icons to white sir dark and this will make the folder icons look much more similar to the dark mode of macOS and let's actually configure our dock now so macOS has dock at the bottom and another bar at the top so let's move our panel to the top so right click on your panel and click on the panel edit mode and then right click once again to select move and click on the top of your screen to move the panel to the top and then move the start menu or search menu to the leftmost part and then right click on the centered icons and remove the grouped window list and confirm it with a yes and then right click again and go to panel settings and then reduce the panel height to 28 and then also reduce the symbolic icon size to 60 so what this will do is reduce the panel height so it looks much more similar to mac os now and then disable the panel edit mode finally let's install our dock now which will be at the bottom of our screen so Go to your application menu and search for terminal and once the terminal is launched let's actually make it big and then run the following command which is sudo apt install plank and then when asked for password type in your password and then select yes and let it install so once plank is installed in the terminal itself type plank dash dash preferences this will launch plank as well as it will give us settings for this plank from the themes You can see that default is selected. Instead of default, select for GTK 3 plus theme, 
and also go to the docklet section and then double click on the trash cans so that it gets added to the dock at the bottom and also enable the icon zoom so that you'll have this nice feedback when you scroll over the dock and when you launch the application it will give you feedback as well close this menu out when you're finished and then press ctrl c on your terminal to exit out this plank so plank is disabled for now search for startup application from your app menu and then click on the add button click on choose application and then search for plank click on the add application button and at the bottom you can see that there is a play icon here just click on that and the plank will launch for you so what this did is this plank at the bottom will automatically launch whenever your system is starting up so you don't have to launch it manually again and again so as you can see the dock at the bottom gets automatically hidden whenever any application is full screen our work here is not yet finished so right click on the menu and then click on customize menu and then once again click on the icon and then go to linux mint section and scroll down a bit and you'll see a start here symbolic icon which looks like the apple logo and then close this out so the apple logo will be our launcher and you can search and start any kind of application from here as well now right click on your panel and then go to applets section and then go to download section from here let it download all kind of applet images and then search for places so yes uh, places center is visible here and just click on the download button and go to manage section and then click on the places center and then click on the add button so first of all it gets added to the right section so just drag it down and bring it to the left and from the panel appearance section you can change the icon of this places section and then you can select scale to panel size exactly this as you can see makes the icon colorful and yeah we are finished here uh, you can apply light theme as well as dark theme and in my opinion the light theme top bar looks better than the dark theme top bar and you can see how the file manager folders etc look with this white sir light theme so that was it for this video if you have any doubts related to linux mint let me know in the comments and also check out our other guys on the channels for the steam deck and various programming language tutorials if you're into that sort of thing see you in the next one